Hello guys, this is True Ray back again with another video. Apple has just released iOS 8 for their iPod, iPhone, and iPads. Design-wise, it still has the same flat icons, which most of us pretty much expected. But a lot of the changes are under the hood and within the operating system. So first off is interactive notifications. With this, you can just simply tap on a notification and reply to the text message right there in the notification or the tweet or whatever. You don't need to launch the app itself to do this, which is a welcome feature. And this also extends to the lock screen as well. Also, they added frequent contacts in multitasking view. So before, you would double tap on your home button to see your apps that are running in the background. But now you can see your most used contacts and the contacts that you interact more with. Next is Safari tab view mode, which lets you have the tab view mode in Safari, just like Apple's desktop OS. And this will let you quickly access bookmarks, history, and all that stuff under one window. And you also got new mail gestures, which basically lets you swipe so you could throw mail away, flag it, or see more details about any other email you may have. They also enhanced the spotlight feature which lets you search a lot more now. Before you could only search for messages, contacts, and emails, but now you could also search for apps, news, songs, anything pretty much. They also added in a new keyboard called Quick Type. This keyboard shows you suggestions for words as you're typing them, and it also supports predictive suggestions, which basically guesses words as you type them, and it'll learn your typing habits so it could predict better options for you. They also tweaked messages so you can now add or remove people from group conversations and also enable do not disturb and share your location with your contacts. And in the text box, you also have tap to talk in messages, which basically lets you record a small message and lets you send it to any recipient that you want. You might see a decrease in animations in iOS 8, which pretty much helps speeds up the OS a little bit because in iOS 7, a lot of complaints were being made about all the animations that were in iOS 7. Now Apple has addressed the issue and has limited the animations. iCloud Drive basically stores your files in the cloud so it could be accessed from different platforms. So Apple has something called the Health Kit, which is a centralized hub for all your health related alerts and notifications. It allows third party apps to hook into Health Kit and then show you all of your progress in one beautiful UI. If you have a fuel ban, it is also supported with HealthKit. All your progress will be in the HealthKit app instead of logging on to a third party app. They also added something called family sharing, which lets users set up their whole family under like one account. You could automatically share photos, calendar events, reminder alerts to your whole family. And it could also help you define your kids and their devices. So when you use Find My Phone, you can see where your kids are. This feature also lets you share music, movies, TV shows to one another. And you could also have one iTunes account and share apps so you don't have your kids purchasing apps themselves. And you could easily monitor what they're doing. Photos has been upgraded tremendously. You can now save more photos in the cloud. And you could also sync your edited photos across multiple of devices. All videos and photos will be stored in the cloud or iCloud in full resolution as you get the first five gigabytes absolutely free and a dollar for 20 gigabytes per month and then 20 gigabytes and you could go all the way up to one terabyte if you want. Siri now could constantly listen to your voice. So all you need to say now is hey Siri to awaken the voice assistant. Maps have also been improved and the app store has gotten some UI tweaks. They also have a new section called test flight which allows developers and users to try out beta apps and this is absolutely free. Now they have widgets finally in iOS 8. The widgets will be live inside Notification Center and not on the home screen, but at least you have the ability to add widgets now. You could also put third party keyboards on iOS 8, so it gives you a little customization to your device. Touch ID and camera APIs will be made available for developers to add with their apps. This will give them more control and help them develop better apps. So that's iOS 8 in a nutshell. Well, the main features, of course. There's still a few other tweaks in there that uh, users could find out themselves. 
So all of this will be compatible with the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and the iPhone 5C. And for the iPads, the iPad 3, iPad 4, the iPad Air of course, and the iPad mini with Retina display. And the iPod Touch, it'll only work with the 5G. The iPhone 4, iPad 2, and iPad mini 1 are not supported for iOS 8. So the release date of iOS 8 will be available in the fall of 2014, no specific month. Anyways, I hope this video was informative. Give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about iOS 8. So take care now, be breezy.